Can you find your way out of this rubble? Well, let's see. I'm sure there's a way. There's a random bee there. Let's see where it, what it can do. There's just monsters everywhere, apparently. I can't go that way. Now it's going to go around and up. Oh, that was a fail. Okay, it's going to go that way. Got to get used to its patterns. You can't go up like that. This sucks. I'm, I mean, I'm obviously sucking at this. It's going to go left, and then up, and then down, and then right. Okay. Now I'm on my way out. I'm guessing there's going to be more Sokoban. And so you got to go right and up. So there's some lakes there. I need four blocks to get to the red key. And there's four right here, which is perfect. Uh-oh. I think I'm... I suck. Let's see, what could I have done? There must be a way to get it back up. I need a, a green key. Mm. Gotta make do with what you have. I'm. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Of course, there's always something hidden under blocks when all else fails. Now I can go up here. And now I can go up and get those keys, which is perfect. Actually, I, I think at one point in time I actually made a level like this, in which it was supposed to be the clubhouse all burnt down, but it sucked and it's embarrassing because... I was only like eight years old at the time I made the level. Okay, there's flippers up there, so gotta take note of that. And there's fire boots down there. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? That completely inappropriate. Again, I, I'm just ranting about all those traps. This time I'm not going to go into the teleport, but I should be able to go in safely without worrying about what's on the other side. I guess it could just be a teleport that was lost in the rubble, but whatever. So now let's switch that open, and I'm guessing that clones a block, in which it does. Okay, now up and over. And I could use that teleport to my advantage, because the blocks will simply slide over. Come on, go faster. And I did not need to fill in that tile down below, because you can't get very far with that. Oh, now it Oh, yeah, dirty. Oh, my God. Here we are, and this time I'm just going to go into the teleport. There we go. And now I'll push the button again, and then use it to go over. And then I can... I also got the suction boots, so that's great. So I'll definitely be using those to my advantage. And I know exactly how. When I can go up... To that room above. Here we go. If all goes well, it should just go across. There. Now we can go up here. There better not be any monsters or bees going in here, around in here. And there's freaking invisible walls. I said, I don't think they've showed up since level one, and I said in one of the previous levels that that I thought 
there obviously weren't going to be very many, and they aren't. There aren't, and this is a perfectly okay use of them. It's just they do exist in the set. Okay, let's. Oh no. Up this way. Or no. This is kind of double maze. -ish. Uh oh, thief. Not sure if I should have done that. And here's even more Soko Ban. I sure hope there's no fire blocks. Why do I have a feeling there will? There we go. Now I guess I could partial post it and get over there. At some point I need to hit the the button. So for now let's try to partial post. Like that. And this can go up and at some point I need to hit the button of course. Oh wait, was I supposed to partial post it? Maybe I should have waited. Yeah, I think I screwed. Anyway, I still have four blocks. Let's try to make make this work. I'd really like to go on here. I'm just trying to get through these levels, and I shouldn't be having that attitude. And there's another button there, which I'm not sure how useful that would be. I think I know what I'm supposed to do, and no, I'm not screwed yet. When I'm done getting the blue key, I can simply use that block that's currently on the the trap button. And then I can go and, and finish partial posting the teleporter, so I can go over there and I've got the, the green button and everything will be totally ready, which is perfect. And I'm, I should be watching my time because it is running out. Hopefully there isn't much more to go. There is a fire boot that I saw, so that, so it shouldn't, once I get the fire boot, I'm guessing I'm pretty much done. Okay, now back in here on the second maze thing. Okay, now back here and come on. There we go. Now I can go in the. Uh oh, uh oh. Gotta get out of there. There. Now come back and please hurry up because I'm running out of time. That's it. Wow, those. Fire boots were there just to deceive me, I guess. And here we go, yet another message. There sure are a lot of these messages. It wasn't long after Chip had scooted out of the remains of the control room when he heard a familiar voice. Chip, cried Melinda. Are, Chip, are you alright? With a sigh of relief, Chip brushed off the dirt and dust from his tattered clothes and cheerfully ran toward her. The two embraced and caught up on all of Chip's recent escapades. You are very brave, Chip, Melinda gushed. No one else I know could have held the nerve to solve seven Sokoban puzzles and select 64 checkboxes while staring death in the face. What? Wait, what? Chip responded. Only 64? You mean there aren't any more levels? Oh, not to worry, Chip, Melinda replied. The Bitbusters had foreseen that the genetic experiments might get out of hand someday, so they started building the rest of the levels elsewhere. But before I tell you more about that, there's something I want to ask you. I think I know what it's going to be. She smiled shyly, trying to avoid looking Chip directly in the eye. Chip smiled back and directed all of his attention toward her. Chip, do you think it's time we took our friendship to the next level, she asked. I agree, Chip replied, but just where am I going to find that next level, he demanded, peering over her shoulders to look around the area. 
Linda sighed. They're, they're in a clubhouse in Chip City, he, she told him. Chip City, Chip responded, perplexed. It's going to be a long journey, said Linda, handing him a map. But you know how I love fi to find the quickest way possible, replied a gleaming Chip. Well, I have to look around after the repairs here, so I won't be able to come with you, Melinda continued as Chip began to crack his knuckles. So let me warn you that the levels in this clubhouse are going to be a bigger challenge than ever, but I'm confident you will do well. With Melinda's encouragement, Chip said goodbye and soon set off on his journey to Chip City, excited about the challenges that lay ahead. By and by, the night grew dark, and Chip reached a house in the middle of the woods. I think I'll rest here for the night, he decided. Okay, the haunted house. Now, I think I see where this is going. It's probably going to end in a sex scene. I sure hope not. Actually. Anyway, I'm guessing that's my only way in to the haunted house. Even more invisible walls. Yeah, this is an actual house. And I guess those are like stars. Or are they ghosts? I'm thinking Mario here. It's like a ghost house in Mario. Okay, so I'm supposed to go in here. I can use the teeth monster to get rid of that caterpillar. No, come on. I hate those teeth monsters. They're always in my way. Go on down, no. This is crazy. Where's that yellow key? It's hidden under one of the blocks. I know that. Okay, it's not. Nothing in there? I don't know where to go, then. Oh, here. No. Come on. This is dodging. This isn't my thing. There, take that teeth. Now I can push this up and... No. No, come on. This is... See, this is what happens when you throw me in a room with a whole bunch of monsters. I cannot dodge them. It's just... It's just my fingers aren't quick enough. And I think Melinda would be more concerned about Chip's dodging skills. And if she saw this, she'd probably take back her asking Chip out. I'm sure about that. Okay, I'm waiting for the paramecium, or the caterpillars, to come out. Oh no, come on! This is too hard. Okay, I'm back in. Now that worked. Finally. I'm guessing the chips are supposed to be spider webs. Unfortunately, I think I missed a whole bunch of chips in the room below. I've got no choice but to run back and check. Okay, we're back up here, and I don't know where the yeah they're they're looping in the in the middle of everything. There, now they're all looping. Let's go on. I only have 166 seconds left, but I can do it. Unless there's more dodging, and that's the moon, I guess. It reminds me of the level Blue Moon, which was shaped like a moon and stars. I guess those are ghosts, instead of gliders, just for here. And here's the chimney, which I went down. Now I've got the yellow key, I can go all the way back downstairs and, and finish up.
I wonder what that's supposed to be. I guess they're like chairs or tables or something. I don't know. Yeah, I expected that. That was obvious that there was something there. And here we have middle fingers or penises or whatever, but I don't know what they're even supposed to be. I'm sure you commenters would know. There's a chip there and a chip there and a chip there and hopefully an exit somewhere. And it's down there. Oh my god. There we go. That was actually a pretty good level, minus the dodging. <laughs>